name is Amarpreet Kalkat. I, uh, I lead the team at Fro, and uh, Fro, we're a social data intelligence company with an ability to understand social data in real time and make it available for our customers, our consumers, primarily enterprises. Tell us a little about your journey as in when did you guys start and what has been the product traction so far? So we started um, actually more than two years ago. We started with a consumer news uh, as our focus where we wanted to truly democratize news and just algorithmically, intelligently determine what out of social conversation was newsworthy and informational. Uh, so we built that product to around a million users, unique users a month. Uh, but then we decided to focus on the enterprise side because one part where we were kind of struggling was time revenue streams to the usage. And uh, Indian investor ecosystem specifically is not a big fan of non-revenue generating products even even if they are impactful. So from around middle of 2013, we've been focusing on the enterprise products where we work with primarily with customers in the media industry, TV and digital right now. What sort of incubation support did you look for and, and what value did you get out of it and how did you fund your venture so far? So we've spent around four months at the Microsoft Accelerator. That was last year. Um, before that, a year, year and a half almost, uh, you know, we've been bootstrapped doing things on our own. Um, so there's some kind of ecosystem support available at some level, um, whether that's by events that happen or some of the, you know, the blogs like Next Week What or Your Story or something. But otherwise, I think still you're not on your own. You know. How did you go about attracting a team wherein you have a you have a nice CTO, you have a, a marketing manager who pulled out from a, a company like Jaguar Land Rover? Uh, how did you go about integrating your team? So I think there are people who want to carry on with their comfortable lives and there are people who want to go try doing something bigger. Uh, if you go and try selling it to them, uh, I think sooner or later somebody bites. Uh, of course you have to succeed. I need to give some time later on to succeed. But uh, that's typically what my pitch has been whenever I've talked to somebody saying, let's try to do something bigger. You know, We can always keep doing the usual stuff. So you met through net, uh, contacts and just through networks or did you put out a hiring um, uh, a request on your site and these guys applied? How did that went about? Yeah, so this is through networks, through references. Big fan of that. Not a I mean, we've tried and we still continue to use, uh, say, hiring sites or other uh, say general publicly available, you know, uh, uh, venues. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't think that necessarily brings the best people. I mean, Nishit is a junior of mine from Iron Cozico. Mm -hmm. So he okay. came through the alumni network. Abhishek mm -hmm. was a junior of one of my colleagues at Trilogy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, so he came through that. Mm -hmm. So we were big fans, uh, mm -hmm. uh, big time Bulishan going through networks, through references from people we trust. What sort of revenues have you, uh, are you, are you generating now? What's your, what's your plan for the startup two years, uh, in two years time? What do you plan to achieve? So we've been, um, we've been moving quite well the last two, three months. I would think revenue wise, if we take a run rate, it would probably be in the $150,000 annualized mm -hmm. kind of a run rate right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we grow it significantly, mm -hmm. especially January and February have been good months. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll, the goal is to focus on growth right now. Mm -hmm. It's a smaller base, but if we keep growing at a good level every month, mm -hmm. then I think by the end of 2014, we would be talking very significant numbers, or you know, significant numbers for a startup at least. Okay. Great, Aman. How do you how do you feel about being chosen for BT School of Startups? I think it's it's great. It's fantastic. It's always good to you know, um, be on a list that's representative of something going on in the country. So, so very thankful to you for that and uh, proud of the boys as the cricketers would call it for helping us make it there.